Trusting in God, who is faithful to us through all the storms of life, let us pray. Faithful God, we ask for the gift of greater faith in you. We pray for your church and for all our leaders in Christ. Give them clear vision and trust in you as they seek to direct and guide your church through and beyond the coronavirus epidemic. We pray for Libby, our bishop, for Ben and for Rhoda, and for all those who are awaiting ordination and seeking new ways of revealing your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we bring before you our troubled world at this time of insecurity and confusion. Give wisdom to all who govern and be present in all meetings where feelings run high and many lives will be affected by the decisions made. We bring before you the needs of refugees, the frustration of prisoners and captives, and the hopelessness of those who are thirsty and starving. We remember today especially the Lebanon and the people of Beirut as they struggle in the aftermath of the explosion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Saviour, who walks with us on life's journey. We pray for our friends and family, and for those members of our church family isolated at home. Guide and bless all who work in our schools especially our church school, Dunstan and Cavendish. We pray for our young people who are awaiting examination results, that they will be able to face the future with hope and confidence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, lay your hands on those who suffer so that they may know the support of your presence and find wholeness and peace in your love. We pray for all who are ill at home or in hospital, and for those who are anxious because tests and treatment are delayed. We bring before you all whose lives are troubled by poverty, unemployment, injustice or racism, and all those who risk their lives in search of safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we continue to pray for your blessing on all medical staff and for scientists who are seeking a vaccine for the coronavirus. And we give thanks for the dedication of all who volunteer to support those in need. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Faithful God, your son Jesus called Peter to step out of the safety of the boat and to walk towards him in faith. Grant that we may also find the courage to accept the call and follow where you lead. And in fellowship with all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.